Hey guys, Center69046 here, and uh, welcome to the season of Christmas, basically. Uh, it's currently Friday after Thanksgiving, so you know what that means, boys and girls. It means, means you eat a bunch of leftovers and uh, buy into consumerism for a day. But tomorrow, tomorrow, let me tell you, it is time. Oh, let's bring the dog in. <laughs> Come on, there you go. It is time for the season of joy and Christmas, and for me to do a two-episode series where I do a Minecraft Christmas series. I'm going to try this year, guys. I, t I really am, okay? So, if you haven't seen this world before, let's just start this episode off with a little world tour, shall we? Oh, I didn't know this. Okay, no snow doesn't slow you down. I'm just crazy. So, here we have our log cabin home. It's uh, got Christmas lights around the edges, of course. A little wreaths on the front deck here. Um, a Christmas door. Uh, icicles hanging down. And a glass window to show off our beautiful Christmas tree that we have inside of here. And a glowstone star on top. Um, there's a mod used in this, of course. It's a Joshua's Christmas mod. You can view it down below. Moving on from the living room, we have our camp fireplace. Uh, lights strung up all around the house and a nice little fireplace to keep us warm and there's our dog lucy of course we got a couple wreaths a tiny little tree in the corner here and our stockings for when santa comes uh, on the 24th uh this is just our kitchen area you know your standard stove uh fridge this is what we got for christmas last year from santa <laughs> i know some weird stuff but hey we'll take it i guess i'm gonna put the string in there i guess and, uh, eh, why not break down our diamonds? Ooh, achievement, diamonds. We also got this hat. Um, let's see, this is a blender, of course. This is your standard kitchen. It's not decorated for Christmas. But, uh, we go upstairs into the loft. We have a little jukebox system here. Our bed. Uh, more lights. And then, of course, you can look out into the home here. And I think I, I really like this view here. Um, we will be using shaders for the series also, if you couldn't tell. This is just uh, Sonic Ethers, Ethers, whatever. Shaders. So you go outside. Uh, we have a nice little boardwalk here. Is this not Cold Tiger Hills? I don't know why that's not frozen. But, uh, yeah, we got a nice little boardwalk here. Uh, I need to patch that up someday. Uh, you can see a view of our house here. Uh, we can see this boardwalk takes us along this path underneath the spruce trees. Here we have our giant Christmas tree, which is like the uh, center here. Uh, I like this one too. This is like a custom built tree, by the way. You can't just spawn this with bone meal, of course. So yeah, we built this tree. And uh, I've used this world before and there's other episodes. So if you haven't seen those and you want to like catch up, I guess you can. But yeah... <laughs> Uh, can I make snow? No, I can only make this type of snow. What happens if I place this here, but then... No. Well, darn. Okay. <laughs> so this path takes us pretty much to our old base here. Which is also decorated, believe it or not. <laughs> and, uh, this is where I just keep all my crap, pretty much. Nothing special to this. Uh, I think this is what I got for Christmas the year before. I've had this world for a couple of years. I haven't done much in it, because uh, I suck at doing series. So, there's that. <laughs> uh, can I put this in there? Yes. Let's patch up that one hole. Uh, this is nether portal. I don't think we have anything in the nether, really. Uh, this is also 1.12, so... Don't expect a fancy nether. We did get a good nether spawn, though, with the uh, fortress being right there. So that's good. Uh, let's go back though, let's patch up that hole that's going to bother me for eternity, and then I'll talk about my plans for this series, and uh, what I want to accomplish before Christmas. And we fill it in, perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's gather around the Christmas tree here to basically talk about what I want to do. So, in this world, even though I have said I haven't done much, I definitely kind of have, you know, I've got a giant log cabin home built it's all decorated for christmas and everything got a nice little tree so basically i'm done with me building for christmas and stuff what i would like to accomplish now is i would like to build like a christmas town um and this tree is going to be kind of like part of it but i would probably branch it off the town anyways branch it off this way and basically 
we'll have like a little park area here where there might be another boardwalk that goes around or whatever. But then we're going to have like a center square town. It's going to be decorated up for Christmas with shops and stuff. And uh, kind of just a Christmas town thing. I don't know if you've seen Christmas towns, but they exist, trust me. And that's basically what we want to do for this series. So let's get started in mapping out where we want to put everything. I do just want to mention real quick that this is what the house looks like from the front. Uh, yeah, you can just see the chimney out here, out here on this frozen lake. Uh, it's a pretty decent house. And then I just want to show you, I have a wheat farm right here. Um, a little sugar cane farm too. Kind of got this decorated a little bit, just uh, some spruce surrounding it. And then over here, we've got our cow farm, which is where we get all of our food. So yeah, just wanted to show that real quick before we start mapping things out. One more thing I want to do before we start mapping it out, like I said, uh, is I kind of want to cut this tree down because I think we'll be able to have a nice view of, uh, nice view of this tree, this our Christmas tree here, if we just cut this down. And then we'll pick up these saplings, of course, so one doesn't grow here. And then maybe we'll just replant these in other spots. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think that's good. Okay, so let's let these leaves despawn. And I believe if we look, it'll look like the leaves haven't despawned yet. <laughs> so once those despawn, we'll be good. But yeah, I'm going to sleep real quick and then we can go start. Okay, so I've been looking around and kind of scouting. Oh, just got a text message. Ignore that. Just been uh, scouting here. Let me put this on silent. Aha. So... Like I said, scouting, right. And I was talking about going this way with it because, uh, you know, it's kind of a circle thing and it kind of meets at certain points like right here, right here, and like right here is where you would kind of expand out. And so I was looking here to expand because the house, oh, the house expands that way. Oh, that's not right. It should go there. Yeah. Because the house is there, so it doesn't make sense to go that way. I was thinking going this way because it would be further away from everything. But if you look, there would be quite the terraforming project to do that. So I think what we're actually going to do, let's get these lava destroyed trees out, is I think we're going to expand this way. Aha! Right? Because this is kind of away from everything. And if we look, uh, it's it's pretty flat, so we would, we wouldn't have too much digging to do, and then we could just put that dirt to fill in these holes, and I think it would work out very well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to chop down some trees between here and there, so we have a good idea of what we're looking at. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'll probably time lapse it, and then we'll talk about it from there.
Okay, I think we've got enough trees down now to where we can kind of envision what we're trying to envision, obviously. So, like I said, I want a road. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's going to be hard because this is going to be hard to center. Uh, I would want to want a road. And I guess the road is going to be like four across let's make this into spruce so well this is not the official building blocks of this build by the way this is just how i plan to get an idea so this will be like the road here okay then you have like sidewalk here another block for the road or another block to signify the end of the sidewalk and then from here you're going to have your buildings which will go out about Eh, maybe that deep there. One, two, three, four, five, six deep. I mean, they shouldn't be that big. They're just, you know, tiny, tiny storefronts. They don't need to be very deep. So, hmm, this is going to interact with this very much. Uh, what do we say? Oh, yeah, the sidewalk there. What do we say? This was six. One, two, three, four, five, six block. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, and a block right there. So we'll about to cut down some more trees, but you get the idea. So that's what I uh, want to do is we'll have like a busy, busy main street here with buildings on the sides. And obviously that'll be sidewalks and this won't be planks. But then what it's going to do is one end will meet this big tree and then another end will be around the courthouse, which will circle around it. We'll get like a roundabout around the courthouse, which will be probably on the other side of this lake right here. So that's the design of it. Uh, I think what's up next is basically choosing how, what we want to build the road with. I think it's going to be stone. Let's see if we've got any blocks in the chest and maybe we can pick some out real quick. Give me that. Oh, wait, no, this is important, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Darn it. Okay, either way, let's go see if we can get some blocks so we can outline the road. I don't know if we want like a brick road, a stone brick road. Don't know what we're going for here. Uh, I'm assuming this version does not have stone cutters, does it? <laughs> All right, that's definitely, yeah, a new feature. Well, darn. I really don't want diorite roads. <laughs> Although white is kind of pretty for Christmas. But this diorite is just... We could use this as like a like a divider thing, maybe. Let's just grab some blocks so we can roll with them. I'm not going to need that. I'm not building it this episode. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for what blocks I should use on the road, be sure to leave them below because I'm always open to suggestions. Okay, great. And then we'll just do some of these. And then we'll do like some of these. And did I not have andesite? And all these are granite. Ew. <laughs> uh, I guess I haven't mined any diorite in this world. That's crazy. Or andesite in this world. Which is crazy to me, but that's okay. So I was thinking maybe these line up your sidewalks, basically. Of course, this is going to be like this. Why did this get bright? That's weird. <laughs> okay, so maybe like this on the sidewalks. Definitely thinking another block other than that. You to that, maybe. <laughs> I definitely like this for sidewalk. I don't know about this for the road. I don't know what block we need in between either. Like I said, do we even get a little crazy and do something like a brick road? Would that be that'd be interesting? Or a brick sidewalk? Although I think some of the storefronts are going to be brick. Oh, and it's getting dark, so let's sleep real quick. We can now see our tree out the window very nicely, which is a huge plus.
Okay, good morning world. Let's go back to this and see what we're thinking here. Um, I think this might be our best design other than we might swap out a couple blocks. I don't think we use, oh, I hate digging up the stone. Need silk touch. Definitely not using that for the road. I would have to get some andesite to decide and maybe some brick. Hold on. Okay, that's that's a lot better. I think that's what we're actually going to roll with is this design right here. So I think the andesite transitions to the stone and the uh, stone slabs much better than uh, what we were using. And the only concern I have is how similar they actually are, but I think this transition transitions well. And I think once we make this into an entire road, I think it's going to work out flawlessly. So hopefully in the next episode, we will get that finished. <laughs> uh, I'm going to live stream this world a lot though. So if you want to follow me on Twitch, a link will be in the description. And uh, yeah, hopefully you can watch me live stream this. Although next week is kind of busy for me with finals. But once those are over with, I have some reasonable amount of free time to live stream. And hopefully you can watch me uh, work on this off-camera stuff. Because this will take a lot of off-camera grinding to get uh to get this extended all the way out and uh go to here and then uh you know there's more than just the city plans i want to build like a park area around this tree kind of like how in the new york they got what is whatever park it is they've got like a tree in it and then uh you know the park surrounding get kind of decorated for christmas and then we'll have the time this is not Times square is it i don't know i'm not a big new york fan but we'll have like our main street that goes to the courthouse and some surrounding stuff you know i've got plans i've got plans i think if it all comes together i think it'll really look good and i think you agree so <laughs> that's going to do it for the end of this first episode like i said i just want to do a quick world tour to remind everyone of what we're working with here and uh to basically just get my ideas down on oh goodness paper <laughs> So, yeah, that's, that's what we're looking to do. That's what we're looking to accomplish. Showed you what we've accomplished. I think it's going to work really well. So that's going to do it for this first episode. Hope you enjoyed. Leave me any feedback you got in the comments. Would you look at me, dog? No. <laughs> Anyways, leave any feedback that you have in the comments. But I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.